is uh, Laron Singletary. Most of you might know me as the former chief of police of the Rochester Police Department. And uh, I'll try to stay in one spot and then you record. And I'm That's fine, you're fine. You're, you're fine, you can move. <laughs> um, but uh, background, 20 years in law enforcement in the city of Rochester. Born and raised within the Rochester community, graduated from Rochester City School District, as well as went to Immortal Community College, Cuba College, Rockport College, where I received a master's degree in public administration. Worked 20 years in law enforcement. Um, greatest career ever, greatest career ever. And I think most of you probably know uh, I retired and then this situation happened within the city of Rochester. Um, but you know what? I fought City Hall, I fought government, and I won. Yeah. And that's what we need to send to our elected officials. We're going to go to Washington, we're going to go to Albany and fight and not go along to get along. My grandmother always told me, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Mm -hmm. So that day, what I did was stood up for my principles, my integrity, and my values. And that's what I want to do as your next representative in Congress. Because right now, the one party rule that's happening right now in Washington and Albany is not good for New York, and it's not good for our nation. So what are you going to get in Laron Singletary as a candidate for Congress? You're going to get a leader. I have the character, the ethics, the integrity, to go and represent you in Washington, D.C. I also ran a 1,000 person organization within the Rochester Police Department. I also ran a $100 million budget. My opponent has been a politician his entire life. I'm not, I, I'm not a politician. I'm a regular person who you sit down and have a cup of coffee with. I'm not part of the establishment. I'm not part of the establishment, okay? For 20 years, when people called 911 with a problem in this in this community, I showed them what a solution. And that's what I want to do as your next representative in Albany. You're going to get a public servant. You're going to get a public servant, somebody who's been on the ground, in the trenches, working with the people every single day. Again, I'm not a politician. You're going to get a problem conservative, somebody who is passionate about public safety. We can't demonize, demoralize, and defund our police department. When I was chief of police, I was in front of the camera saying, if you defund the police department, it's going to have a negative impact on individuals who live in some of our lowest income neighborhoods. And not just that, it spreads. It spreads beyond the city of Rochester to our towns, to the county. So it just doesn't go because it happens in the city of Rochester. You also, I also believe in, you know, the Less is More, you don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Less is More Act the bell reform. Also, education. Education. Typically, Rochester fares better on the issues on the national level than the national level. Right now, we're right there. Public safety, education, and the economy. Right now, inflation is at a seven, seven and a half percent. Seven and a half percent inflation. The highest we've seen in almost 40 years. I'll be 42 in April. Almost longer than I've been alive. And I'm sure inflation is eating everyone up right now everyone up. We talk about gas prices. We have so many crises going on right now in this country. We have an energy crisis, a border crisis. We have an inflation crisis. All these crises need someone to go to Washington. And not one person is going to solve it alone. But we need somebody to go to Washington to be able to respect their colleagues, be able to reason with one another by listening, and also come back with results for you. Have results for you. We need to secure our borders. We need to secure our borders. That's part of public safety as well, because not people just don't come across those borders. There's also drugs that come across those borders, and, and guns, you know, and it's sex trafficking as well. So we have to make sure that we we send people to Washington who are going to do the right thing. Because right now, the one-party rule of Albany and Washington is just not working for our country. We need to make sure that we establish some sort of protocol that's going to work for this nation. Because right now, our national security is at risk. Look what's going on in Russia. And pray right now. You know, America needs to be strong. It needs to be strong. The world is watching. The world is watching. What do you think is going to happen? China is watching right now to see how we react right now with this Russian trade crisis. China is probably going to make a move on Taiwan, depending on how we react. So that's why we have to be strong. And depending on what happens in Russia, you don't know what's going to happen with gas prices. Because right now, we used to be energy independent. Right now, we're dependent upon other countries because obviously the supply is great. Sorry, the demand is great. The supply is so little. That's why we're paying astronomical gas prices. So I can go on and on and on, 
about the issues here, but I want to give my good friend Lynn an opportunity to talk as well. So thank you so much. And I'll be wrong.